I'll just flat out ask you, what are your opinions on those who do claim that you guys were being used as some sort of experiment? Yeah, it's... Man, I'll tell you, <clears throat> it puts me in a dark place. It really does. Because I don't want to think that, but it's hard, it's hard not to think that. When you look back at the timeline and there was lack of communication, like I said, you know, lack of equipment, that's, that's no problem. You know, we, that's just how it was. Uh, not having one working camera out there, that's suspect. <laughs> Your job for security is supposed to have some type of thing. But there's all these questions, me and my guys who worked out there, we all kind of joked around about that. Oh, we're just lab rats out here. We joked around about that, but we never thought it was real. But I will say in 2019, I met a, a scientist in the Uinta Basin, and the first three things he said to me, and this is in early 2019, but the first thing he said to me was, did I know about radiation out here on the property in Utah, in the basin? And I'm like, what? No. And then he said, did you know about $22 million? And I was like, no. And then the last thing he said to me, and when he said this, my heart sunk into my stomach. He said, you know, how does it feel to know you're possibly a guinea pig in all this? And I remember saying, if that's true, I don't feel very good about it. And then at, at that time, my whole mind flipped upside down. I'm like, what the? F it, then, like, all these memories started coming back. And um, I don't know. It's, I'm still left, you know, from, I'll be honest with you, Ryan, this whole thing about me even coming out publicly in 2019 was probably never supposed to happen. Um, but I have questions that need answering. And I feel like every single time I open up a door to, or every time I close a door, two more open up mm -hmm. and it just blows my mind. It really does because I've served honorably for this country. I've done, I've, I've, I've sacrificed everything. And especially for the ranch, I have, I sacrificed, but my family has sacrificed. And I will tell you, if that's true, I don't, I don't know what to say, really. It really, uh, I, I don't have a lot of words to say about it.